Hey folks, Marcus here again from the Ashton Fly Shop. Welcome back to this beginner series focused on helping you learn the techniques that will give you success in your steelhead fishing. In the previous couple videos, we talked about how you approach a steelhead run and choosing your angle of cast and how you're going to present that fly to the fish. And I think after you get those two things dialed in, a good thing to think about is your position in relation to the fish and how you have to mend your line to set it up to fish well to the fish you're trying to target. So when I step into a run after I've done my approach and I've got an angle of cast that I think is going to be effective, I lay a couple casts in the run and I just watch how they fish with no mend. I just leave them just how they are. I watch how they fish on the outside and I watch how they fish right here on the inside. And what that tells me is it gives me some indication of what I'm going to have to do to manipulate the line to get it to fish right. There are certain runs where you're not going to have to do anything and you can just throw the thing out there, let it fish and great. But when you're beginning in the sport and you're fishing for steelhead, um, because we don't have a lot of them around anymore, you spend a lot of time looking for fish, searching for fish and you can when you're beginning, it's tough to know if you're spending time effectively or spending time ineffectively. And so I want to show you how to set up a cast to get it fishing effectively and give you the techniques that you need to do that on your own home water, to pick apart any piece of water and learn how to mend and manipulate the line to get it to go how you want to go. So I'm gonna just do a standard quarter across swing, angled down river. And the first bend I'll do is just a slow pull straight back up river. So that is a really standard mend that we do in steelhead fishing a lot. If you come from the trout world, a lot of mends are quick, you know, really quick stack mends, things like that. Spay fishing for steelhead, we're not gonna do any of that. We do slow, deliberate mends. So it sets up, you got your cast, a nice slow pull to straighten out the line, and then I'm connected and I'm tight. And right from there, I'm fishing. And then as I come under tension, what I do is, if I want that line to go totally steady with the current, I just point my rod tip right at the back end of my spay line. If I want it to go faster, I point the line towards the bank, and if I want it to go slower, I point the rod tip further out in the river. And that's a really important thing, is, is you have a lot of power with the rod tip and the back end of your spay line to point it where you want it to go. And when you mix the mending and the rod direction leading your line along with your casting angle, you can really fish a bunch of different types of water. Really the the most common mend that I see in my own fishing is in a run like this, as I'm coming to the inside, I might do a small mend in the beginning and let it fish. And instead of just gradually leading, I will pull my rod tip over any slack in between me and my fly. And that's a mend and I'm letting, I'm trying to reduce that slack from slowing down my fly to keep a nice gradual swing into the bank. One man that I learned from John Hazlett is sometimes you're fishing a spot where you need your first man and then as things come into line, you need another small man to get things properly aligned to fish. A lot of that comes when you're working with more complex current, something that's pushing fast, slow, fast, and you need to fix that original mend to get it where you want to go. So probably the most common type of mend that we do is that slow upstream pull that straightens everything out, but especially when you're fishing broadside, 
or you're trying to really cover inside water, doing a downstream bend, you do the same motion, you pull across, across your body and you lay everything out and it helps bring that fly with a little more speed and momentum into the bank. And the downstream mend can be incorporated through the swing, can be incorporated at the very beginning of the swing, but it's definitely something to have in your repertoire. And it, it comes up a lot when you're, when you're fishing complex currents where you might have a boulder breaking current and you have to get that fly and line to move the way you want it to. Sometimes you do a downstream mend, sometimes you could even do an upstream mend in the same cast to make things move the way you want them to. It's important to make all those motions, upstream, downstream, very slow and deliberate. And if you lift that running line up off the water and just pull that mend, you can get that mend to do what you want it to for your fly without just ripping it all around. And it's a good, really good thing to mention that both with casting angle that we talked about before and mending here, I've got a sink tip on right now, but if you want to figure out how both the casting angle and your mending affect your fly, how they get them to pull, through the current with different speed and different angle. Fishing a dry fly, there's almost no substitute for throwing on a dry fly because as it's skating across the surface, you can see what that mend does. You can see the angle and the speed that those mends put in it. So I would say that's a really good tip is to fish a dry fly in certain places. Make sure that it is fishing the way that you want it to and then you can fish other techniques in that same run. If you're fishing in situations where depth is something you're interested in, oftentimes in winter steelhead fishing, throwing a cast out there, doing a big pulling mend, straightening everything out, waiting till it's straightened, and then taking a couple steps and doing a fixing mend is really a good way to let that fly just drop a few feet until you start fishing through the current. So once you get the basics down of setting up your cast, getting that slow, deliberate mend, learning how to straighten everything out and fish it through a run, it can be really enticing to just do that in any run every time you fish. But the reality is, is if I started up at the head of the run and I was fishing all the way through to this tail out, throughout the way, I would have to incorporate a couple different men's to fish an entire run well. And that, we get questions about mending or you know which sink tip to use and stuff like that. And the reality is, is that every cast, every run, maybe even every part of the run might call for something a little bit different. And that's when it becomes useful to just know the techniques. You know that if you can sweep your rod towards the bank to lift out any slack, that that's a men that's going to bring your fly into the bank with a little more speed. You know that if you want depth, you can step with it as you mend and get your fly deeper. And then it becomes, it's on you to use that knowledge of how you're mending and watching every cast. I said at the beginning that I like to spend a few casts in each run just watching the line come across before deciding to mend. And really, as you step down through, you're working with different speeds, different currents, different depths. You're going to have to create a game plan on the fly every time you're casting, every time you're working through a run, to figure out what mend, what setup, what casting angle is going to fish best through the run. The last point that I'll make about mending is if I'm fishing a skagit line and a sink tip and I hang up, it's not my first move to change out the sink tip. 
my first move is often to either change the angle of the cast, do a more broadside cast, or change my mending tactic. Maybe mend less to just keep that fly up above the point where you hit on the last cast. And oftentimes with mending and casting angle, you can choose a sink tip and if you're tapping rocks or tapping bottom, you can adjust with mending and casting angle before getting to the point that you need to switch out sink tips or you know, choose a lighter fly or something like that. So it's important to think about mending and casting angle as keeping your fly in the grabby part of the water column. You're trying to keep it above the fish, keeping it in the zone where it's gonna get grabbed. So it's one of those things that honestly I'm still learning about. Um, and when I'm out on the water, I'm consciously trying to think about every run, every piece of water, and how my casting and mending is either fishing that water well or fishing it poorly. And it's something that you'll build over the years. But in the beginning, using those couple techniques, that slow pull, the fixer mend, the mend into the bank is really going to give you a set of techniques that you can use to help pick apart any piece of water. So thank you very much for tuning in to this little piece on mending.